what is written in the book. I'm going to uh, emphasize more on uh, the practical points. Uh, so starting with uh, today's uh, talk, we are going to uh, deal with some of the terms and um, uh, some of the aspects related to uh, breast pathology. So um, we all know the anatomy. Uh, breast are modified sweat glands and uh, breast consists of parenchyma and stroma as you all know. Uh, overlying skin is part of the skin elsewhere on the body. So this is anatomy. Uh, breast tissue is lying on uh, the chest muscles and and uh, there are ribs underneath. Uh, the lymphatic drainage of the breast is very important because uh, the axillary uh, lymph nodes, they are uh, actually draining the lymph from both the breast uh, and uh, the intermammary lymph nodes are also involved in drainage of the lymph node, uh, of the lymph. So uh, practically, uh, whenever uh, a female comes with a lump in the breast, it is very important and mandatory to palpate the axillary lymph nodes also. It is not always that uh, it is um, a tumor or uh, it is a metastasis, uh, metastasis uh, to the axillary lymph nodes. Even in any of the inflammatory lesions, uh, there may be reactive hyperplasia of the lymph nodes. And then other important thing about uh, the axillary lymph nodes is that the axillary lymph nodes, they are draining the entire upper limb. So it is very important in cases of breast cancer that whether you have to remove uh, the axillary lymph nodes or not. So axillary clearance is the term used. So um, I will go into the details of uh, those things later in the lecture or in the next lecture. So this is the histology. You have ducts, you have uh, lobules, uh, which is the parenchyma. The ducts, they are lined by the cuboidal epithelium. The lobules, they are lined by the cuboidal epithelium and the shape may change according to the age, according to the lactational status. And uh, there are myoepithelial cells, which are very important, which are uh, lining the uh, ducts and the lobules and these are the one which are important in uh, ejaculation of the milk um, when they squeeze uh, the duct and the lobule and they are important in uh, pathology also because in cases of cancer uh, when there is a malignant tumor and it is going to uh, invade the surrounding uh, the surrounding stroma or the connective tissue the myoepithelial cells are absent. So all the lesions having a myoepithelial layer around uh, the duct and the lobules means that it is a benign lesion. Again, uh, we are going to see some uh, of the exceptions, but when the tumor is going to invade, you are not going to have myoepithelial cells. So sometimes myoepithelial cells on the slide are very, very important if you have some confusion uh, whether to decide uh, as benign or malignant lesion. So sometimes you uh, have to go for uh, some special or immunostains to stain the myoepithelial cells also. So this is the uh, histology of um, the breast. You have uh, a lobule. This is the lobule and you have main ducts and then you have ducts, smaller ducts, which are joining to, together to form main ducts and then lactiferous ducts, which are opening on the nipple. So this pink area is uh, the stroma or the connective tissue. Uh, the stroma contains um, collagen and stroma contains connective uh, tissue fibers. Stroma contains fibroblasts and stroma contains areas of fat. So uh, the stroma is not only fat. It depends on the age and the development of the breast that uh, what is the ratio of the fat and uh, the connective tissue. Uh, 
uh, <clears throat> in cases of fat, uh, the breast uh, develops fat-related tumors very occasionally or rarely, like lipoma, uh, which is a benign tumor of fat, which is seen elsewhere in the body very commonly, uh, particularly in the dermis. In breast, it is less than 1%. So uh, whenever there is a lump breast in the connective tissue or it is a connective tissue tumor, you have to rule out all other things first before going uh, to lipoma. Congenitally, uh, you may have a nipple uh, in the milk line. This is one of the congenital anomalies. Then uh, there are certain other congenital anomalies related to uh, the position of uh, the nipple. Um, but <clears throat> you have to uh, be very careful when you are examining uh, the position of the nipple. If uh, there is a lump underneath, the uh, nipple may invert. So inversion not always mean that there is a tumor. That may be a skin disease also. So uh, because the breast tissue is having skin uh, over it. So if there is a lesion or a pathology on the skin like redness or uh, itching you first have to rule out anything in the breast then you always have to look for any of the skin diseases sometimes we miss the skin disease because a patient may present with a skin disease on the skin overlying the breast tissue uh, so sometimes we always uh, think that it is a breast pathology and uh, we go for investigation regarding uh, the breast, but uh, actually it uh, turns out to be a skin disease. <clears throat> so there are a number of uh, diseases or lesions uh, occurring in uh, both uh, the parenchyma, which are uh, the ducts and uh, the lobules and uh, same way in the uh, connective tissue. So uh, you may have benign uh, lesions, you may have uh, benign tumors, and you may have malignant tumors. Uh, one important uh, thing uh, which we all are aware is that um, the most common and uh, talked about uh, pathology is the breast cancer. But it is not always that uh, a female is having a breast cancer. So. Uh, You may have all these um, symptoms or signs, redness of the breast, uh, enlargement of the breast, pain or itching. You may have discharge from the nipple, which uh, can be a pussy discharge, discharge, a watery discharge, a milk-like discharge, or a blood-stained discharge. All those um, um, types of discharge have uh, a particular meaning and a particular uh, lesion or a pathology uh, going on underneath. Then you have um, axillary lymph node enlargement that may be in uh, inflammatory uh, lesions or maybe a part of a tumor. Very important thing in uh, breast uh, pathology is self breast examination. Uh, it is also called breast self-examination. So uh, this is uh, where we are actually uh, lacking. And uh, this is uh, what is not emphasized, um, maybe in our part of the uh, world particularly. So uh, self-breast examination uh, is one of the screening, part of the screening uh, procedures or part of the screening uh, strategy in the West. So a uh, female uh, who is 30 years of age is bound to examine the breast herself. If she feels like having any lump or swelling or any of the symptoms we discussed in the previous slide, she have to come and consult a breast surgeon or a breast physician or uh, she have to uh, consult a breast clinic then 
uh, all the other things are on the doctor that what investigations are needed or how to proceed but self breast examination is that uh, you have to educate the population how to examine the breast and that is the same examination as a doctor is examining so it is uh, by uh, the female herself so it is called breast self examination sometimes uh, if there is a lump or she feels a lump that may not be an actual lump or the lesion or a pathology that may be something else but sometimes uh, there is a pathology and you may have to uh, go further with some of the investigations so the first thing this is uh, not in your book but i am emphasizing this because uh, when you are going to go to the clinics uh, when you are going to do, uh, go to the wards and uh, as i uh, see uh, in routine in our fna clinic in pathology department that uh, most of the females coming uh, for fnac uh, or most of the females coming uh, with the breast pathology that is an advanced lesion talking about the cancer uh, breast cancer uh, many a times uh, in our part of the world uh, the female is coming with uh, stage 3 or 4 uh, disease that is just because of uh, not consulting a doctor not talking to the family not uh, examining the breast herself or ignoring the lesion in shame so uh, breast cancer is top cancer in females uh in the west in our country in any part of the globe breast cancer is the number one cancer in females prostate cancer is the number one cancer in males but the mortality or death is by lung cancer Uh, in both the genders this is what we did in the third year so uh, that is why i am emphasizing on breast self examination it is that you don't have to actually go to the villages or anywhere uh, around uh, the country to teach it is that you have to just start from your home so uh, a female um, medical student may tell her uh, mother or sister or cousins uh, how to uh, examine the breast uh, themselves and they are going to tell 10 other people around them and uh, likewise you are going to see uh, after a few years that uh, this is how a population is educated uh what we are doing um, sorry to say what we are doing in our country is actually that we are going uh, to the remote areas to the villages to uh, the population who don't even know what pathology is who don't even know uh, what we are talking or what we are saying or uh, teaching them they are not familiar with what self breast examination is but we are educating the population or we are just uh, doing for the sake of nothing and if i ask any of uh, the medical student that how uh, one is going to self examine the breast i think most of the medical students even don't know how to self examine the breast and that is the biggest dilemma what i have experienced in uh, the last few years that even an educated person not knowing cannot tell her mother or sister or anyone around him or her so you don't have to actually go and educate a big population you just have to educate yourself and you have to educate your family your family is going to educate 
a number of uh, people around them even if you don't know so self test examination is uh, important and it is that Uh, this is how uh, one can do the self press examination uh, in front of the mirror lying down or sitting or standing and uh, this is going to be the same um, uh, procedure uh, that a doctor is examining the uh, breast so uh, step 1 is that uh, you have to uh, make use of the pulp of the fingers and you have to palpate first superficially uh, to see, see any uh, swelling or lump uh, if you feel underneath the skin then you have to go deep and you have to uh, examine all the four quadrants of the breast then uh, you have to look for uh, any of the redness itching any discharge from the nipple you have to examine both the breast you have to examine or palpate the axilla sometimes yes even a small lump can be palpated sometimes uh, during self press examination one cannot palpate uh, a lump which is very small but uh, uh, many a times uh, female uh, come with a lump which is actually not a pathology so uh, both ways uh self press examination remains uh, the number one step uh if we make a screening strategy in our country so self press examination you have to uh, uh look for any lump uh in uh, all the four quadrants any discharge any skin changes and the axilla so this is uh the technique uh, you can uh, teach that uh, starting from uh, the nipple and areola you may go in circles you may go vertical or horizontal up and down or you may go in uh, a wedge shaped uh, fashion in uh, all the four quadrants so you have to look for a lump you have to look for uh, the position of the nipple any dimpling on the skin or any um, discharge any skin changes redness itching or a rash so a discharge is important sometimes a blood stained uh, discharge is worrisome so uh, blood stain uh, discharge or blood from uh, the nipple uh, one of uh, the first diagnosis is going to be a nipple adenoma which is a benign tumor or a tumor uh, related to the lactiferous ducts it may be a papillary adenoma papillary carcinoma a deep uh, lying tumor um, doesn't uh, present with a discharge from the nipple again a milk like or watery discharge uh, may be seen in uh, lactating female uh, whenever there is a galactoseal or uh, there is um, a milk which is um preserved in the lactiferous ducts and that is not coming out that may get infected and may present uh, with an inflamed skin and nipple and areola retraction of the nipple is uh, that uh, whenever there is a tumor or there is a pathology in which there is extensive fibrosis or um sclerosis uh, there is retraction of the nipple because of the contraction of the fibers which are produced in the stroma palpation of axilla is also very important uh, so um, uh, you have to teach uh, yourself and uh, your family members that how to palpate superficial palpation and deep palpation so uh, this is the same technique that a doctor is going to palpate the uh, patient so a uh, self pressed examination is a choice is a decision a purpose statement trend and it is something that we can uh, decline the mortality uh, because
cause of the breast cancer. As I said earlier, breast cancer is the number one cancer in females. But according to the statistics, um, the mortality because of the breast cancer is high in our country, um, or if we talk about uh, our region, than the West. Although uh, the risk, the tumor, or the cancer remains number one, even in America or Europe. But uh, the only thing is that a patient is coming with a very small lump, which is excised and treated very early, or uh, stage one or two disease. And then uh, there are modified uh, treatments which uh, can be offered. But unfortunately, in our part of the country, uh, whenever the patient is uh, coming, uh, the patient is coming with an advanced disease. Even, uh, I'm not saying that uh, treatment, chemotherapy, radiotherapy, or surgical techniques are not available, but because uh, of the metastasis, because of the reoccurrence, because of an advanced disease, uh, much more have to be done uh, to the patient, and that adds to the misery uh, of the disease and uh, the family. Uh, mammogram is the next step. If there is a lump, first step, self-breast examination. If there is a lump, you have to uh, consult a doctor. If there is a lump, doctor is first going to advise a mammogram. Mammogram means x-ray of the breast. In mammogram, uh, we always go for a bilateral mammogram. Uh, if there is a lump in one breast, you have to um, um, take an x-ray of the other breast also. Both the x-rays, they are uh, simultaneously uh, pictured on uh, one x-ray film. And uh, this is uh, something that um, a lump can uh, be. So uh, breast cancer can be according to this percentage, but this can uh, vary, obviously. The next step is going to be uh, fine needle aspiration. Fine needle aspiration, as we did in uh, the third year, it is a uh, fine needle. We are going to use a 10 cc or a 5 cc needle, and we are going to uh, put that needle in the lung. We are going to aspirate the cells, make a smear. Uh, we are going to uh, stain the slide and then examine. FNAC in cases of breast is um, easy to do because lumps are palpable and there is 98 to 99% sensitive and specific. So you can- so Sorry uh, to interrupt you, just two minutes left. Okay. So we can go for a rapid diagnosis for um, um, the major procedure. So instead of going to uh, an incisional biopsy or an excisional biopsy, you can first go for fine needle aspiration cytology. So in cases of thyroid pathologies and in cases of uh, breast pathology, uh, FNAC have a 98 or a 99% uh, sensitivity and uh, specificity. So uh, mammogram and then the other is fine needle aspiration. Fine needle aspiration uh, is routinely done in our department, in our FNA clinic, and uh, we get around uh, five or six uh, patients daily uh, with breast cancer and uh, many other with benign breast diseases. This is how we are going to take uh, the sample. It is also called needle by uh, fine needle aspiration or uh, cytology. This is aspiration cytology. If the lump is deep and uh, the lump is not well palpable, you can always uh, take help of the ultrasound. So that is called an ultrasound guided FNA. So in cases of ultrasound guided FNA, you can see uh, the picture of the lump on the screen and then go in and take the cells. So this is how uh, one can get uh, the smears. Uh, so these are uh, the cells 
from uh, the breast and uh, you can tell first uh, you can tell whether the cells are normal or they are abnormal second if they are abnormal are they inflammatory are they because of some other disease or they are because uh, they are abnormal because of a tumor then in cases of tumor whether the cells are benign looking or whether the cells are malignant so all that can be said on fnac so that's why fnac uh, have a high specificity and sensitivity in cases of breast and it is one of the procedures that you don't need a journal anesthesia or an operation theater or any um, long time uh, for the patient to wait uh, the patient is just going to walk in and you can aspirate from the lung so uh, two things uh, first investigation is a mammogram the second is fnac we are going to um, continue from this slide next time uh, so self press examination is important then if there is a lump you have to consult a doctor doctor first is going to uh, order a mammogram and then an fnac that is how further uh, we can uh, proceed with the pathology so we are going to uh, do some of the other investigation next time and then uh, individual pathologies thank you so much if there is any question please email those to your cr or gr and i'm going to answer thank you